It's time to drink drinks and post memes. Gevening. How do you- Gevening? Gevening, golf? Oh! How are you, old Gary? You get me a little drink, eh? Ah, hello, Jill. In that cage? I brought my cat. Your cat? Did I hear you to see Katsu is in the bar? Bring me that bastard, I'll give him the fist of justice. I'll make him eat the I'll borrow his cap. Wait, there are no evil Omnyoji in here. Boss, what the fuck? Didn't you saw I brought Kato to the bar? My cat. Cat. That's even better. Hey four. Why would why would you need a cage to bring like a sentient cat? So cute. Why did you bring him? Some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know, so I'd rather have him here, at least today. Ah, well, I'd say something about the health regulations, but we already had a pack of corgis in here. Do you want me to take care of him in my office, please? Sure, but he's a bit shy. So, alright, Four, let's go to my office. I think she didn't hear me. Hey, Gil, how do you always come so early? I live close by. Really? Yep, Chief got me a small apartment nearby. Something about the BTC housing program. Yeah, I got mine through that too. Anyway, let's start. Huh. We have a bar association that provides housing? It's pretty intense. Excuse me. The slow. Oh, whatever. I can't even tell if we're unlocking music. I don't think we are. Wait, what's what's car to mind dream? That one's all right. That's skyline. I wish they were at least sorted in order of like intensity or theme or something. I have no idea what music I want, or just a random button. Honestly, just. I, let me hear random stuff, and then let me know what song is playing. Time to mix plot do Yo, what's up? What's up? Yeah, uh, hey, did you hear me? A dog. Another dog. Hey, I'm not just another dog. I came here as a part-timer. Oh my god. The piss dog. Piss shibe is going to help us. So you're the part-timer. Yeah! Boss, I'm taking my break. It's too early. Shit. Uh, the part timer is here. Huh, he came early. Why a dog? Why, why, why? Because look at him. He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. Those are pretty valid reasons. I'll give her that. And he's a Shiba, not a Quirky. I don't know why you're complaining about. They look the same to me. Racist. Dogist. Granted, Chibas can be seen as the Japanese counterpart to Corgis. They're both funny looking and dogs used by the royalty. <laughs> Anyways, starting today, this dog will help around here by filling every crevice with piss. My name is. It doesn't matter what your name is. Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad. <laughs> Just call him Rad Shiba. I would rather call him Shibe. I'm gonna call him Rad Shibe. Why Rad Shibe? What part of Horion's shirt and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. Thanks! Anyway, he will mostly help getting orders, bring clients and cleaning, but he ought to know how things work. Cleaning, that'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you work. Um, right. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple! Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. This dog wants a grizzly temple. There's all the hearts. Grizzly Temple. Three blotted hoops. Three of these. Three of them. One of them. Oops. Blended. It's weird there's no blending sound effect. There you go. Wow. This is awful. Wait, no, let me say that more radically. Wow! This is awful! People actually pay for this shit! Hard to believe, I know. So, what brings a dog like you to a part-time job here? I'm here to help the funding of my organization! You with the Cypher Toy Company? What? No! 
Please don't lump me in with those hurting supremacists. Are they sheepdogs or something? I have a more noble and bizarre organization. I belong to Kira. Kira? Canine Independent Rescue Association. We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. I think those are mutually exclusive goals. Kira is what I love, but damn is it expensive sometimes. We decide to take part-time jobs to help fund anything it needs. We want to help Sira be the best it can be. What do you do at Kira? Pay treatment for hurt dogs? Give food to the hungry ones? Play with the bored ones? We're there for everyone. Oh, she sounds nice. Say, do you have a menu? Something like that, yeah, here. Now let's see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with promo drinks. Oh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. Fluffy Dream? I like the sound of this one. Coming right up. The dog now wants a Fluffy Dream. Decent music here. Um, still not very bar-like, but whatever. Let's get the bar drunk. Or the, the dog. Maybe I'm drunk. Aged. Frick. Not what I meant to press. Secretly am drunk. Get that stupid dog wasted on his first day. What? Did I not age it? I'm not sure you can actually get people extra drunk. Fliff Dream. This is huge. Looks like it has like multiple limes in it. Fluffy Dream. Well, this one's nice. So why'd you pick a bar? It seemed fun. I didn't have that many weird skills to the I didn't need that many weird skills to be part of it, so this was my best bet. Besides, it's close to home. It's like you get here by walking. This dog's speech pattern is not very awesome or rad. It's kind of hard to talk like this. Uh, well, it's kind of hard to talk like that when I'm just not being, like, rad. And I do love me some walks. I could walk all day. Weird skills. Yeah, stuff like food handler certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. I knew thumbs would happen. Why did you pick a bar? Wait, how are you gonna... What are you gonna do? I can't think of many bar jobs that don't require thumbs. Um, on a whim too, I guess. I want a place where I can see people come and go all the time. Why would you want that? Ugh. Bartending just seemed like a more glamorous than just being a store clerk. You know... I don't, like, hate people, but, um... Something I like about YouTube is that... For the most part, only people that actually care and are nice comment. I know the big channels, that's not super true. Um, but I mean, when I read Vine Sauce comments, I mean, they're mostly nice. I mean, it's like a sea of garbage, but it's like positive garbage. I think I could deal with mostly positive garbage. Um, but in case you don't read them, my comment, I allow, I try to keep my comments nice and clean. I don't have to delete many. But um, I discourage anything too stupid. Um, I remove, like, first comment, uh, anything offensive, stuff like that. Or just anything dumb. Uh, I try to keep my comments nice and safe, so if you ever want to say something, please do. I read all of my comments. I reply when I can, or when I have something to say. I keep my comments nice and friendly. If somebody is a jerk, I will mute them from my channel. So yeah, I try to keep my comments nice and friendly. And bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Oh yeah! About that way you mix stuff! Yeah? Is it- Hey! It's a cat! A cat! Hey Four, aren't you in boss's office? Hello cat! Wanna play? Let's play! Dogs, cat, hate cats or something? We don't hate them, unless they're intruders. You said his name is Four? Hello Four, let's play! No playing allowed. I'm like a mess. Four, go back to the boss's office. Meow. That's one obe- That's one obedient cat! My pride. You want something else? Yeah, but I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. Aw, oh, poor John. I mean, Gil. Sigh. I shouldn't get riled up so easily by dog, but I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. Sigh! I knew for the color- Oh god, your eye. 
What happened to you? Sai? What happened to you? That's what I just said. Nice seeing you! Well, half of you. I fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. That sounds unpleasant. Damn, look at those muscles, girl! You okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one, so don't worry. How'd you manage to slip by the mob's lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily, these bandages helped me conceal my identity. <laughs> I come straight here. I... The ambulance where I got treatment couldn't stray too far from the hospital. They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot on, while on rescue duties. I was nearby yours. It's the closest friendly face I could find. I needed to regain my composure before doing anything else, so here I am. Uh, if you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know? Security systems of the bar, top notch. My bar is also the bouncer of sorts here. I'd say you're actually safer here. So I'm not worried about me. I said I'm worried about you. First I hear you're at the bank, then I find out you disappeared. Now you show up with all these bandages. Are you fine? What happened at that bank exactly? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. S slow down a bit. Medications make you feel everything more intensely. Almost like a hangover. Not something I've noticed on pain meds. You just feel kind of dull and bug. Sorry. It's nice to know someone like a bartender is worried about me, though. Thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you see the lynches they give to any white knight they find. See the lynches? That's sort of a weird sentence. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Um, something sweet without alcohol. Thank god these pants still have my wallet in them. Oh no, I couldn't take your money right now. It's on the- Jill, please. I want to pay for my drinks. Take it I won't be able to change your mind? Nope. I mean, yes. I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet, no alcohol. Coming right up. Uh, fluffy meme, right? Yep. Let's give her a big old fluffy meme. Aged mixed. There you go. It burns a bit. So what happened to you? How how does a fluffy wait? Fluffy dreams are sweet, right? Crap, I didn't mess that up, did I? So what happened to you? I was escaping the place near the Near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. So I've jumped uh, I've jumped from higher places, but I landed badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from some, from some debris that landed on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. Ow. I rolled to mitigate the fall, just like Link. But I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk! I was under rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Someone. I woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me here. I don't know who he was, but I owe my life! What? Nothing, you just sound cheerful. I'm alive! Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am talking to you. Being able to talk at all. Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally f- oh, oh, oh. Um, how are things around here? I heard there was a huge commotion when the whole thing happened. I had to sleep here in the bar on Saturday, but I guess it could have been worse. Good to know that. Contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Uh, hey Jill, I want another drink. A Bleeding Jane. Wait, let me confirm that Fluffy Dream was the right thing. Aw, oh, crap! Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna redo that. Um, I, I could've sworn Fluffy... What? How is a Fluffy Dream not, su or not sweet? Whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna redo that and be right back. Sorry about that. Okay, your resident idiot bartender here again. I uh, went back to the part where I give Sai a sweet drink for once. I should just look here. Brand teeny. Oh, it's got crap on it. You know what it has? I think it's Sugar Rush, right? Yeah. This is the smallest drink ever. All mixed. That's all you need. There you go. Careful. Yay! This will help me calm down a bit. So, what happened to you? Where did you fall from? I was escaping the police near the end of the whole thing. And, uh, 
I had to take a leak of faith. I jumped from higher places, but I landed badly there. Most of my injuries are actually from some debris that fell on me. Ow. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. Ow. I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad movement. Oh wait, we already saw this. Uh, so yeah, Bleeding Jane this time. Oh. Am I supposed to give her something else? There's no booze in it, so I don't know... I'm not sure if I'm supposed to read that hint as give her something else, but I mean, it's not alcoholic, so whatever. Here. Cheers! Oof. So, how are things inside the bank? <laughs> Got me again? What happened inside the bank? I have to manage to get through it. Um, I was with this nice bunch of people. Well, they were apparently nice at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing, cracking through security, finding safe spots. But then, um... Sorry for asking about it. It was obviously over the line. No, don't worry about it. It's just the analgesic's still numbing me. I'll take my leave now. Thank you for everything, Jill. You alright? I'm fine. I'm fine. Hmm. Sigh. The girl saw some awful things inside that bank. Some of that people like, like that stuck in one building is enough to scar anyone. Maybe I shouldn't have said all that. I mean, it's true that she just woke up and ended up here. I don't know, I feel like I was being too pushy. That's not something I can measure. You were just worried. I bet she's still in shock. Yeah. Um, Gil? You want me to make sure she's fine on her way? Please. Alright. I'll go and take my break now. Already? Ah, you know what? Screw it, we'll do two this time. Um, sure. Maybe I should have saved once a day instead of... Oh yeah, you can hold control. Parker showed us earlier. But you can hold control to skip forward really fast. Uh, I kind of wish it was just instant, like skipped you to the next drink bit. Too much heavy stuff lately. I don't care. Phew. Hope everything goes alright. Hey, Jamie. Uh, Jamie? Ah, Jill. Gillian isn't here, I guess. You alright? You look distracted. I'm fine, don't worry. Look at those those softy eyes. If you say so. Jill! Where do I take four if he needs to use the bathroom? Cage has a small litter box included. That is a fancy ass cage. Oh, that's convenient. Four. Four is my cat. Some apartments in my buildings are being inspected today. So I brought him here to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Ah, I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. Gut punch for Jamie. Put in your I don't- I really don't think this actually does anything. It's just for laughs, I guess. H. Mixed. There you go. I thought when someone ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke. About giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Oh, that? In theory, yeah. Gil's the only one that pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read an old, really old manual my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns. It seemed like that was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. <laughs> I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Like when Dictionary added fake words to spot if somebody else copied all of it. I'm not sure that's a thing. Why not tell him that? It's too amusing, to be honest. So, what's on your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. Might have some actual reason to feel that way, though. I can think of it mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I actually like to think of it as bounty hunting, actually. So, the only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There's some people willing to pay off someone who hasn't done no wrong. Is like killing somebody that owns a house in the way of some building or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests. I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. Bounty Hunter Park comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that's done something like stealing or killing and I get paid for it, you can see it as bounty hunting. 
Yeah, I guess. It's just cheap justification for killing people, though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be the one to kill for petty reasons like those. Let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter if you don't mind. Huh? Sure. It's a tad too broad. Maybe something manly? Something bitter and manly. Want another gut punch? Kind of lame. Hey, that's true. Now let's go with a. Wait, the suplex! Aww. Oh. Jamie seems kind of like an S or an M, don't you think? It's kind of a big one. He's a big manly man. Is that too many? No, it's not. Six of these. On the rocks, not aged. When, when did I click that aged? Suplex. Ah, yes. He just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat Bronson roots every afternoon. They said it make them stronger. Bronson roots have more nutrient per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. Seems like I always make you, make you uncomfortable, Jill. Sorry. Well, you're always talking about murdering people. I mean, slightly whatever. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Okay, you've killed people and are talking to me now? It's weird. Yeah, I would say that's a little weird, to be quite honest. Reminds me of when I took for, first took sex ed classes. I couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. Unlike with sex ed, it's better to say it. What? Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you stay that way, mind you. Taking lies is not something you should get used to. Ah, uh, yes. You know, a good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? So you said that was often a tale to a bored kid. But yeah, I'd like to hear that one. You see, there was, an there was a bounty hunter organization in the city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a prize on a dangerous person's head. Pay for proof of that person's death. This guy everyone called Jet Black James. Got the name because he always wore black clothes. Oh, edgy! The interesting bit was the black clothes were the hiding blood stains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top notch. His information networks were the best. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour and wouldn't take the reward. It was too good, in fact. The one thing I don't like about Jet Black James is that he's almost too good. At one point, he, all, he took all bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just crazy about then. The last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James' head. The police had him cornered. His last words were, send it all to my account. Before shooting himself! <laughs> That's intense! Holy shit. Damn. <laughs> Why hasn't that been made into a movie? Agreed. So there were no more bounties after that? Registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter using his old targets as proof. Somebody else tried to recreate the organization. The seed of doubt would grow a little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization would actually be a trap? They could just use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals, and then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges against them, using their targets as evidence. So, no. Jet Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to make them, set up any bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Are you part of that organization? I've actually had these suspicions I'm telling you... Had these suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Let's know I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that was certainly one interesting story. Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt Jet Black James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Theodore. The story left my throat a bit dry. Give me a beer, please. You people and your beers! I should just remember what beer is. Oh, never mind, it's complicated. Sort of. Just mixed. Oh, I did five of the alcohol. Oop. Oop. There you go. One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. 
one obvious thing I, I see is that you don't use the word kill in stride. The meh. You don't take the use of the word kill in your stride the way Gilead does. Not too good with violence. That's good. It's interesting though. When I compare you two, it's obvious Gilead has seen quite the share of dramatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the more reliable people I've met. Where is he, by the way? I seem to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he would resolve the situation. Where did the dog go? They brought in the dog for no reason. His nose must be itching after we talked so much about him. Yeah, maybe. Well, I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss and Gillian. Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone... Wait. I feel like he'll just tempt fate. Let's try it again, anyway. Everyone just put gloomy face after gloomy face in that dog. I sure hope the next client changes that. It's gonna be Kira Mickey! Aw, oh, fuck. Get out. Get you! Piece of shit. How dare you. <sighs> so you still work here? I knew it! Er, I mean, quite a surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Got out of my job. I needed a drink badly, and I remember this crack house was nearby. What can I get you then? I'll have Bleeding Jane on it. Uh, Bleeding Jane. Wait, that's not a Bleeding Jane. Brand Teeny. Bronson. Powdered Blops. Blanger Boops. Huh? No, oh, Blended. Blending always catches me off guard because so few are blended. Cali Comp makes me think of Compu Comp from uh, <coughs> the Dilbert cartoon. There was a Dilbert cartoon and it was actually really good. The voice acting was great too. Like, usually when there's a voicing for like a cartoon like Garfield or something, like it never matches with the voices in my head. And it just really works in the Dilbert cartoon. I highly recommend that. I think you can get a disc on Amazon pretty cheap. Tastes just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. You ordered it, dickweed. So, where do you work, Mr. Ingram? I don't have a specific job, but there's this, well, network of engineers in need of assistance. I have no idea what they do there, but I can follow instructions, so that's all they need. Recently, I've been working with a silly girl, working on some experimental powered suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. That's what works with the Steel Brotherhood. What's this about a network? All those nerds know each other and they recommend me. I don't question, quickly learn to do whatever they need. Sounds nice. It's pretty monotonous at times, though. Why are you giving me that look? Because you're human garbage and I want you out of my bar? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came here. We all have good days and bad days. Today just happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared and shitless in their houses, the streets are pretty clear. No traffic jams. It's always a plus, I guess. It also became a bad day, though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. They were talking about how they should just go to Zaibetsu Corp's HQ and blow it up. Seen too many kids throwing that let's kill the king attitude. You seem like you would be that type of edgy person, to be quite honest. It comes to Zaibatsu Corp. Even if Zaibatsu Corp's building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. Killing the head honcho just means it's his duty to go to the next rim job around the totem. Hell, I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. Kids these days, they don't know. They missed out. They don't know. <clears throat> Kids these days see too much action fills and Reg will save the day by killing the evil corporation. Yeah, I want playing too much Final Fantasy VII. Damn kids. Don't let it get you. I don't. I just hate teenagers. <laughs> you look like a shitty teenager though. Oh, whatever. It's interesting though. Big corporation control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. I wouldn't know. I'm not a political person. No shit. All right, give me a Zen star and try not to mess it up. Oh, he wants the garbage drink. I know this one though. It's just four of everything. It tastes like 
awful feces. What the? Okay, then. Wait, I don't know if it's mixed. There's your crap drink. Yes, it's just as nasty as I've heard. What is your problem? Why order it then? Not your problem. He likes nasty drinks. That's that's what he likes. So where's the red comet? My boss, she Jill, Forrest headed your way. Let's play, Ford, let's play! Oh, a customer. Sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here, and a cat. The cat's mine, his name is Four. The dog just hangs around here. Looks well groomed and his fur looks healthy. Seems to take good care of him. Seems to know a lot about cats. No, it's just common sense. Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me and eating or drinking, so I'll be taking my leave. Please get out of my bar. Don't count on it. I said that last time. Congratulations, you scared a client off. Four is just as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like four. It's my baby. Now go play or something. Right! Oh, we awaken the Parkers. What are you doing? You stay away from the display case. You can't get in there. I actually had to stake a big plushie on top of the display case because he tried to jump on it once. And he could deal a lot of damage if he shook that thing too much. Yes, you could. Um. Ah, you're back. What happened with Sai? Cat Boomer girl picked her up. Couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Glad to hear that. I missed something. Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. This store is filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. Parker, don't block the mic. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a little bit. Actually, I found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of that door at any moment. So you miss Dorothy? Kinda. But anyway, nothing like a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up here and call it a day. Playing with your cat was really fun. Here's three hundred dollars. We are half of the- we're over half of the way there. Okay, so we actually are. I guess I underestimated my earning potential. Yes, Parker. Yes, you're annoying. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're gonna make it. Barely. So creepy. Anyway. Before mind the hairballs. You leave bigger ones in the shower. <laughs> Wrecked. Alright, let's read some memes here. AM Township 64. Hype! Literally no games. Is anyone else tired of the Monster Girl meme? No, no, no. I wanna marry a Monster Girl. I just want some actual gameplay next time. Why would you want gameplay in a Sukubon game? <laughs> they just wrecked themselves. IDK, all I see is pretty girls with nothing to back it up. Any info on the hardware? It's probably gonna be yet another underpowered piece of shit. It's not like the competition is any better. Meh, I'll just quit gaming. Nothing but trash as of late. Yeah, I remember games that actually good. Games made them with love and care. Neither. Just like real gaming forums. Ugh. Nano Kim. Oh wait, we already read that one. Oh wait, let's read the thing. I'm gonna buy one. Depends on the library. All right. Soccer popularity sinks as pro wrestling rises. Once known as the king of sports, soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self in the ring. After corruption scandals of the last World Cup, ha 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 current events, fans have begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of the pro wrestling industry. The latest GSF tournament pulled nearly 20 million viewers from Glitch City alone. It was one big ass city. Ahem. As of this moment, fans seem to be vastly favoring pro wrestling. It's easier to follow where something we know is predetermined as opposed to something that pretends to be a legit sport, said a fan outside of the GSF arena. People kicking a ball is boring as shit, too. Agreed. But I like soccer. Because of that, you're castrated! <laughs> oh. Quincy, I certainly like fried chicken. What? During our weekly interview with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed this unusual taste for a certain rare food, fried chicken. I know it sounds a bit rude to say like something most people don't have access to, but I just can't deny my love for it. 
you taste a chicken breast like the ones kind of make, you just can't go back. Uh, I mean, fried chicken is popular because it's, it's, it's pretty cheap. I mean, not really that fancy to deep fry. Uh, in other news, Quincy also confessed his desire to ban instant food, although he later said it was in jest. I wouldn't ban instant food since that's what people in this city li like the most. Even though I hate it, no, I wouldn't ban it. What an unusual thing for a politician to say. Monster Girlfriend Chiara becomes the best-selling video game of all time. The waifu revolutions for the 2010s is no longer a laughing matter. What started as a trend has since gone out of control is the standardization of VR technologies, which allow people to leave full-time in their side of their computers. As a result of this craze, it shouldn't, remind, shouldn't be a bleh. It shouldn't be a huge surprise to know that popular Monster Girlfriend surprises have become the commercial juggernaut with millions of copies shipped in Glitch City alone. Worldwide, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies since its launch in March, making a world record holder that won't quit. Is the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. Do you want that games? Anime games are stupid. New ones, at least. Let me see what this said. Is it that rare? Pretty sure the ones sold are fried pigeons. Ugh. Flying rats. Anyway, about the monster girl thing. Um, ugh. I saw some bits of that monster musume thing, and it's just... It's literally every harem show ever. It's got some vaguely monster-ish girls shoved in there, you know, to give it that whole fetish appeal. But, uh... It's just pretty much every example of why I hate harem crap. It just goes down the list of every single harem trope. You know, you gotta fall in someone's cleavage, you gotta have the flat one, and they gotta be jealous of the big one. But everybody picks the flat one anyway to show big titty girl who's boss, because we gotta hate. We gotta hate people for what they look like. That's important. And you gotta have the girls fight over a guy who has literally an actual can of garbage for a personality because everyone has absolutely garbage, actual garbage taste. And they're just fighting over this trash can of a human being that spews his own feces out of his mouth every time his mouth opens. And it's just great. That's, that's how you write characters. You just make a bunch of interesting female characters and you just completely destroy them the moment this complete dipshit loser male character that has no defined characteristics shows up. That's just, that's great. Now that's why I like my Neptunia and my Senna and Kagura, because there's no relevant male characters and, and Neptunia is actually written. The director and the character designer are women, so it's probably why it's escaped a grimmer fate. But, um... They reference some of those tropes, but they never go full harem and ruin things. Um, one of the spin-offs, uh, Neptunia PP actually does some of the harem -y crap, but uh, even that is more restrained than a lot of crap is. Um, I actually... Um, a couple of games I had to stop playing because of all of the harem crap. That's just... Ugh. I, you could improve literally every fucking harem game in every harem anime in the universe by taking out that single guy. There's this thing in Japanese media where there's like a... Oh man, I'm not sure the exact term, but it's like a... It's like asymptote where, you know, when male-female ratio is even, things are just fine. As you decrease the amount of males to female, things get, get awful. And then once you have just one male left and a ton of women, it's just sheer garbage because that's all harem can ever be. And then once you remove that last guy, things shoot back up to great because without harem guy, the women are allowed to be like human beings with personalities and motivations. And it's just great because like they're people and harem, like harem anime girls, they're not people. They're just random toys for harem trash and garbage shit man to play with. And that's... That's garbage. Anyway, I hope you're not too tired of me insulting harem stuff, but I guess I'll give that a rest for now. Stay tuned next time for apparently we're going to be able to pay our bill, much to my surprise. <laughs>